Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we're going to be making beef short ribs. Uh, as I always say, I've never met a short rib I didn't like. Anyway, um, let's jump right in. We'll go look at the ingredients. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And let's jump right in. So over here I have five pounds of beef short ribs. I have some mirepoix, which is an onion, two carrots, four stalks of celery, and some uh, fresh thyme. By the way, I will be listing all the ingredients in the description down below. I have some salt and pepper, kosher salt and pepper, but if you don't have kosher salt, feel free, feel free to use regular salt. I have tomato paste. I have some fresh garlic. I have two cups of dry uh, red wine, which is a, I'm using a Cabernet. I highly suggest do not use cooking wine. Reason being is cooking wine is wine it's not good enough to drink. If you wouldn't want to drink it, you don't want to cook with it. Uh, and I have four cups of beef stock and a little bit of cooking spray. Now, normally you brown ribs on a stove top. So we're actually going to just brown it in a 450 degree oven, works, which works just as well. We're going to start off by seasoning our ribs. Gonna season it with some kosher salt first. Possible. Now some pepper. You can use a pepper mill if you have a pepper mill. By all that means that works very well. Now we're gonna turn them over. Now we have them flipped. We're gonna season this side. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spray this side with some cooking spray. You do need some type of fat. Um, I don't like a lot of fat when I cook. So you definitely need some type of fat. Now we're going to take these, when we put these in the pan, we're going to turn them over so the fat side is down. And once they're all in the pan, I'm going to spray the top. So basically it all has some little bit of fat on it. Just spray the top of them. And we're going to stick them in, like I said, it's going to be a 450 degree oven. Uh, I'm going to guess 10 or 15 minutes, but we'll see. See you shortly. Hi everyone. So we're back. Uh, in the end, my beef short ribs were in for about 20 minutes. The truth is my oven probably was not as hot as I would have liked it to have been. Uh, I work at these big convection ovens that really brown meat very well. This got somewhat brown, but I would have preferred it browner. I've taken them out, and now I'm going to add my mirepoix to the pot. I'm just going to saute this just for a couple minutes. I'm going to saute this for maybe five minutes or so. Um, stirring it every couple minutes, and I will show you what it looks like in five minutes. So before, I totally forgot to tell you, add the fresh garlic with the vegetables. So I remembered that I just threw the garlic in, just so you know. I cooked this out for about seven minutes. I am, swept, I am stirring occasionally. And after, right now my vegetables are tender. Um, not very tender, just a little. I'm gonna add my tomato paste and cook it for just two to three minutes. Just stir it in fully. And like I said, I'm going to saute it for two to three minutes and um, I'll see what it looks like in three minutes. Thank you. So this has been cooking for two or three minutes. You notice that the bottom of the pan is kind of getting a little, uh, not burnt, but it's definitely sticking. At this point, we're going to add our red wine. And what we're going to do is we're going to scrape all this up. And you'll notice that it'll come up pretty easy once I add the red wine. It's called deglazing in uh, culinary terms. What's sticking to the pot is called fond, and that gives it flavor. So you actually, you actually want all that in there. That will give it a nice flavor, also give it a nice brown color. Once that's all up, uh, we're gonna let this cook for just, we're gonna bring it up to a simmer and let it sim simmer for about two minutes. Also at this point, I'm gonna add my fresh thyme in here. And I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of pepper. 
Let's give that a stir. We're gonna let this saute just for literally a minute or two. So our wine has been simmering for about two or three minutes. At this point, I'm gonna put our ribs back in. I'm gonna spread them out. The next thing I'm gonna do is cover this with some beef stock. And I actually need a little bit more because it really should be fully covered. I'm adding a little bit more because I really want my beef totally covered with this. Now we're going to bring this up to a simmer and I'll show you what to do next. So, so my beef stock just came up to a simmer. We're going to do a couple things. See these deposits over here? That's all fat. And we kind of would like to get rid of that. Um, make it taste better later. So we're just going to take a ladle and try to skim some of that off. Is I actually tasted it and to me the flavor is a little bit weak. Uh, I don't have any beef base. I have three tablespoons of chicken base over here and I'm just going to stir that in to give it a little more flavor. I'm going to just pick up the flavor a little bit. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of roux to this. Roux is just, this is flour, and I'll put the measurements um, in the description down below. I'm going to add some oil to it. You're supposed to cook roux over stove top, but this does work. You just mix it with your hand. Now the thing is you can't just pour this directly into there because what will happen is it will clump up. So what we're going to do, is we're going to take our ladle, we're going to take some of the hot liquid, approximately ladles worth, we're going to add it to this, we're going to take a whisk, you don't want to use your hand for that uh, because it is burning hot liquid, and mix it. We're going to take another one, and it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of onion or anything in there. Um, you do have to add the li liquid somewhat slowly. To prevent clumping. If you add the liquid too quick, you'll get clumps in there and nobody likes to eat a big clump of flour. We're going to go with one more. Make it a little bit looser. Maybe, maybe two more. I'm very indecisive as you can see, but that's all right. My food generally comes out pretty good. And so see how it's pretty smooth, which isn't really important. It's the same most important thing. We're just gonna dump it in. And what this is going to do is, as this is cooking, it's also going to thicken so I get a nice thicker sauce. Just stir this in. I'm going to take a spoon and just move it around a little bit. Now you want to make sure that all your beef is underneath the liquid. And we're going to take some aluminum foil. Uh, if the pot that you're using has a cover, by all means you can use a lid. Uh, this pot I don't have a cover for, so I'm going to be using aluminum. I'm going to cover so it up. Our beef short ribs are cooking beautifully. Uh, one last thing I'm going to add, it doesn't call for an original recipe, but I happen to love potatoes. Um, it probably has another 45 minutes to an hour to cook. So I'm going to add some potatoes because I just absolutely love potatoes. Uh, and I'm just going to stir them in. You don't want to put them in in the beginning because the potatoes will be mush. Uh, but just make sure they're submerged in water. And by the time that the beef is done cooking, the potatoes will be done. And this will be absolutely delicious. Plus, I will get my potatoes, which is never a bad thing. So I will see you shortly. Bye.
So, uh, my dinner is finally ready. I mean, my beef short ribs are finally ready. Uh, it took a lot longer than I thought. Uh, as I've mentioned, my oven cooks very, very slow. These were actually in the oven for about four hours. Um, this one's my cameraman David's plate. This is my plate. He eats a little bit healthier. He likes vegetables. Um, I don't actually eat vegetables too much. I mean, that's not true. I do eat vegetables. Uh, it was actually very, very tender. <laughs> Tender enough that you can cut it with the fork. And it's amazingly delicious. So, as soon as I'm done shooting this video, I get to have my dinner, uh, finally. I'm um, looking forward to that. Anyway, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And please leave your comments below. Be well.